I can hear you all crying out. No, we don't want systems that are going to work for thousands of cycles without ever checking on them. We don't want Francis John's excessively uh, engineered systems. We want the janky-ass systems that you come up with at 3 a.m., half asleep, and have to fix like roughly every seven, every seven or eight cycles. And you know what? I'm here to deliver. So, uh, this is the first in the series of uh, just systems that you yeah, maybe shouldn't try to duplicate because why would you bother? Um, this is the first one. This is just a liquid liquid sulfur geyser tamer. And this is actually good timing because it's about to go off. Uh, let's just speed that up a bit so we can see it go off. All this is is pump made out of steel so it doesn't melt. Connect some power, dumps it on a metal tile. The metal tile is temperature controlled by a cooling loop. That's it. There's nothing fancy. The pumps from the that pumps liquid sulfur is farther away than it should be because if you ever cut this off or if it ever breaks, uh, it will break the tile or the, the the pipe. But let's watch this go off here. Nice. So yeah, it literally just pumps the liquid sulfur. I don't know why liquid sulfur is white, but anyway, over, drops out. It freezes. It will kind of start to, yeah, you can see it kind of starting to back up a little bit there. I've only ever had it back up far, too far, t twice. <laughs> and that was when the cooling loop wasn't set low enough. But I set the cooling loop low enough so it can manage the um, drain on it. And, I mean, that's 150 tons of sulfur right there. There is no flow control on anything here. This is a full... 10 kilogram, roughly, packets of sul liquid sulfur. If this ever breaks, you are screwed because it will break a pipe. And then if it breaks a pipe in here, then you you might as well rebuild it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's two radiant, uh, or three, uh, that shouldn't be radiant pipe, but anyway, it's three sections of radiant piping, one right on where the sulfur sits and one on the metal tile. And then this loop also goes around a bunch of other stuff. But um, And that just goes into this thing here, um, which is usually running, uh, yeah, real simple. Nothing to it. And it works pretty okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, the overlays are quite, I mean, it's just power in real easy. Oops. Uh, plumbing is more complicated than it needs to be. I, this was a, a, a test system. <laughs> um, yeah, it's real straightforward. So, you know, you see these sulfur... I have no purpose for this sulfur, but it's there. You see these sulfur geysers all over, you can make a, make a use of it. You can now have lots of sulfur to sit in a single tile for no reason. You know, thank you very much for uh, watching. hope this helps. Uh, maybe someone can suggest even uh, more fly-by-night uh, builds for this in the comments below. Once again, uh, have a great day, and don't forget to not suffocate. Keep keep breathing, because it's oxygen, not always include. Okay, bye.